name is Sophie, and today I will do a book review on the book Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. The main character of this book is, of course, Mr. Fox, and he is fantastic and brilliant and clever. I don't know whether or not brilliant and clever mean the same thing. I'm not quite so sure, but it doesn't matter because he is brilliant and clever. Three other characters that play a major role in this book are Buns, Bogus, and Bean. And unfortunately, they are mean, and they are farmers, human farmers, not foxes. These people are extremely mean, like I said before, and they farm different things that a fox might like to eat. Bogus farms chickens. Buns farms geese and ducks. And last but not least. Bean, the meanest of them all, farms turkey and apple cider. Bean is the cleverest of them all too, but not as clever as Mr. Fox. But I'll get get to that later. The thing is, is that Mr. Fox, because he needs to live, of course, everybody wants to live. He goes and steals their food. I know stealing is wrong. That's the only thing I don't like about Mr. Fox because he steals things. But I don't like the farmers even more. Because guess what? They want to kill Mr. Fox just because he stole a little from them. And these three selfish people, if you happen to ask, "Can I borrow a pen?" I bet they wouldn't even say yes. They probably just ignore you and go on. And they probably wouldn't even be happy if you just stole a pencil from them. So they definitely were extremely mad when their livestock went missing. Anyways, they try lots of ideas to try and kill Mr. Fox. An example is when Mr. Fox is about to go at night to hunt, they wait by his hole and shoot him the minute he comes out. This, of course, didn't work because Mr. Fox is too clever for them. I'm really glad he's clever. From this book, I learned that you should be clever in situations like this because Mr. Fox was a clever fox, and he's very alive at the end of this book. My least favorite people in this book are Bunce, Bogus, and Bean because they're too mean. I don't like mean people, and the least of the favorite of my of mine is Bean, mainly because something disgusting is in this book about Bean. I'll show you a picture. Okay, see that picture and the man leaning to the side? That's Bean, and see his ears and the stuff falling out of them? Gross, right? That's why I don't like this picture. And I don't like Bean because guess what this book says? It says Bean never took a bath. He never even washed. As a result, his ear holes were clogged with all kinds of muck and wax and bits of chewing gum and dead flies and stuff like that. Gross, right? I would have fainted the minute I saw that in real life. But my favorite characters in this book are the little foxes. They're so cute. You want to see a picture? You see the foxes. Are Mr. Fox's little foxes? See them over here? Aren't they so cute? They're smaller than Mr. Fox, and not maybe not quite as clever, but I think they're adorable. Of course, I do like Mr. Fox because he's very clever, but he's not as cute as the little babies. That's too bad. If he was adorable, I probably would have loved him as much as I love this little kitty over here. Anyways, I recommend you to read this book if you like adventures. Animals and funny stories. Thank you for watching. Bye.